it's different to the type of like if you're selling hardware devices soft or software as a service or tickets right it's going to be different like so if you're event bright selling tickets your measurement is going to be around stuff specifically around ticket sales for example perhaps whereas if you're uh, uh, a SaaS platform like uh, or a marketplace you're gonna have different success metrics these types of success metrics are very well documented and defined and discussed for different types of industries. Um, uh, for SaaS, you want it, you're, as an example, you're going to want your cost to acquire customer, your uh, churn rate, your lifetime value, um, you know, sort of these high level um, numbers that are really important to that type of business. They're critical that, to that part of business. But then when you look at exactly the product that you launch, it's going to be slightly different. It's going to be, hey, what was the success metric for the company at the time we decided to do this product and ship it? So your company might be in a rapid growth phase. So your success metrics are gonna be around, for example, user acquisition. Your company might be more mature and you've got customers already, you're not really worried about the funnel and you're releasing a product in specifically in order to um, increase revenue. Then your success metric for that product is gonna be around revenue. And if it's selling, if your product is hardware, revenue is gonna be based on maybe sales of hardware or sales of, you know, if you're iPhone or, I mean, sorry, if you're, you know, if you're Apple iPhone or Amazon's uh, Alexa, you're going to be looking at how much digital content or uh, is sold or, or, or products are sold through that hardware device, like the Echo is an example. So in other words, you as the product manager need to be very clear with your management. What is my success metric for this product at this stage in the company's lifetime?